listen to me and listen to me clearly. There's some trickery going on. Earlier today, Donald Trump put out some video talking about his thoughts and his ideas on abortion, on a nationwide abortion ban. And it's being reported that Trump declines to endorse a national abortion ban, says he lim the limits should be left to the states. That is straight up bullshit. Straight up bullshit. This man has been screaming it over and over and over again that one of his major accomplishments was putting three Supreme Court justices on the Supreme Court so that they could overturn Roe v. Wade. Donald Trump has publicly gone on the record to say that women should be punished should they get an abortion. And now he wants to come out and say that he doesn't support a national abortion ban. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. The Republicans have been seeing how this issue has been kicking their asses. Donald Trump's campaign has been paying attention and they have been telling him this issue is not panning out how we thought it would. We've got to do some trickery here. So Donald Trump got together with all of the Christian leaders. He called up Paula White. He got Paula, Paula White to get all of the evangelical leaders together to say, look, this issue is kicking my ass. I got to do something about it. I got to go out there and make the people believe that I'm a middle of the road kind of guy on this abortion issue. I got to trick the people. I got I got to trick the people some way, somehow. And then if it works and I get into the White House, we will then. Yes, we will then incorporate and put out there a nationwide abortion ban. This is some trickery bullshit here. He and Lindsey Graham are even out there having a public dispute over what Donald Trump came out and said earlier today. I call bullshit on this so-called dispute as well. We all know Lindsey Graham has come out and publicly said that if the Republicans um, get back in the White House and they take the Senate and take the House, that they would implement a nationwide abortion ban. So for Donald Trump to come out against a nationwide abortion ban, yeah, it's supposed to create conflict, right? Donald Trump called up Lindsey Graham and said, this is what I'm going to do. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to go out there. Once I make my announcement, Lindsey, you're going to go out there on your Twitter account and you are going to post this quote. I respectfully disagree with President, Trump, with President Trump's statement that abortion is a state's right issue. OK, and then, Lindsey, when you put that out there. I'm going to do what I typically do. So don't be alarmed. Don't be upset about it. This is just part of the plan. When you post your tweet, I'm going to come back with this over on Truth Social. But it, it's just all for show. It's just I need to get into the White House, Lindsay, because these indictments, these charges, it's not looking too good. They are kicking my ass. So just roll with the flow play along just just understand none of this is true even though it's being reported that conservatives are upset with donald trump over his so-called statement giving states the rights to figure out how they want to handle abortion versus a nationwide ban yeah even though they're upset about it they're still going to vote for him because they know they know they know the game. Don't be fooled by this. This ain't nothing but some straight up trickery.